Hello everyone, welcome to Small Academy. I am Vikas and in this video today we are going to create an Android application that have the feature of generating the QR code and scanning the QR code that is generated already. So this is a really simple application but you can integrate this application to another complex application that you may be building to generate the QR code. So our QR generator take the input and generate the QR code based on the given inputs. So let me show you the example of how our application is gonna look like. So let me open my Adobe experience design and here I have created a pr prototype which is similar to the app that we are going to create today. So here you can see we have two activity. The first one is on first one is QR generator and the second one is QR scanner. In the first part of this tutorials, I'm going to create this QR generator and we're going to give the value here and user click on generate button, the QR code is generated or otherwise he can click on the scan here and this scanner activity is opened and the user can scan the existing QR code generator and the value of that QR code is displayed here in the text view. So this QR code generator and scanner is two part tutorial. As I said, in this part, we are going to create this generator and the second part, we are going to create this QR scanner. Okay, so let's get started. So let, let me start by creating an application. You can see the Android Studio is, Android Studio is open and I'm going to create the new application. You know the procedure. So let's do this real quick. And I'm, I'm going to give this application name QR app. Okay. Just a name. I'm gonna select the marshmallow as the minimum level API, but you can select any. But make sure that you can provide your support for all the API level that you are going to select. So let me click on finish and it will start the building process of our application. It will take a few seconds. After that, we can start programming our QR code generator app. So while this uh, process is going on, I'm gonna give you the information about the Java library that we are going to use to generate QR code scanner and the generator. So I decided to use two different QR code generator library and the scanner library for these tutorials, but other library that are that provide both the scanning and the generating ability within itself. But uh, for the simplicity, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna use two library to create, to generate and the scan the QR code. Okay, the build is successful. I'm gonna import the library that I talked about. So our library is called as QR generator. So let me open the Chrome and show you what the uh, QR generator library look like. And this has the really simple interface and it allow us to create the QR code based on the input value given. Okay. So this is really simple for the beginner and we also need to give the permission for the writing of external storage. Okay. So let me copy this from here, the library, and I'm going to add this to my Android studio project, go to the Gradle script and inside the build at Gradle file of our model application module here we can add the dependencies file okay now let me sync the project to add this library to my android app studio project it will take a few seconds we have added the java library into our android studio project now so i'm gonna go ahead and design the interface that i showed you in the adobe experience design so i expect you to go ahead and design by yourself if not, then I'll just design it and come back in a second. Okay, so this is how our layout look like for the QR generator activity. Here you can see I have given the edit text for to enter the value and generate button and each and every one of these element is having the ID. So this for this I have given QR input for generate button, I have given generate button and this is the placeholder for the image or the QR code that we are going to display. Uh, we are going to uh, convert our QR code into the image format and assign that to the our image view so that user can see. 
and uh, this is the scan button using which you can user can go to the scan activity let me go to the main activity and start writing the code i'm gonna start by creating the variables that we are gonna need for our activity to uh, paste and display the data so we need the edit, edit text from which we are going to extract the data so edit text that is qr value we need two buttons variable that is for generate button and the scan button and we need one image view to display the qr code okay i'm going to initialize these variables with the xml resources that we have defined in the activity Okay, now we got all the required variables and the XML resources. I can actually start writing the code to generate the QR code based on the given input. Okay, so first I'm gonna get the input from the user. So our QR value variable have that uh, input given by the user. So, but uh, whenever user click on the generate button, then only I'm going to extract the data from the inter value. And if the uh, value is empty then i'm gonna display the error to the user so i need to do the validation as well so if the user do not if user has not entered any value then i'm gonna display some error because i need to validate validate the data and if the data is empty then i can't generate the qr code so in the java file i'm gonna get the data whenever user click on this generate button and i'm gonna validate if the data is actually present or not so to do that i'm gonna set the on click listener on our image so in generate button i can set on click listener new on click listener and inside on click i can get the data so i'm gonna get the data i'm gonna say it's a string or let's say data and uh, from qr value the get text the to a string okay so this is the string data that we are going to get from the data uh, user so even if they insert the integer integer number we are going to convert that to the string value and we are going to generate the qr code to generate the qr code i need to use the qr code generator uh, applic uh, class that we have added using the dependencies in the, at the beginning of the video the process of creating the QR code is called the encoding part and the process of getting the data from the QR code is called decoding part that's why we need to create the instance of class QRG encoder let me import the class I'll simply say QRG encoder new qrg encoder and this take multiple argument so this qrg encoder constructor take multiple argument so first one is the value that actually we need to give to generate the qr code so that is in our case data and second it takes null as a parameter okay we are not passing any bundle so that's why we are passing null and the third thing it take is type so so the third argument of the qrg encoder constructor is the type of data we are passing into the our encoder to generate the qr code so in our case it is text because we are getting the string type from the data but there are multiple type available so let me show you qrg contents here you can see the multiple options that we can give to the encoder to generate the qr code so in our case it is string data but if you want phone number email location sms text so you can give all the all that type of data to create the qr code but in our case it is simply text so let, let me give the text 
and the last thing we're gonna need to give is the dimensions of the QR code so we need to define the size of the QR code that we are going to generate okay so it, it, it may be small it may be big it may be medium so we can pass any integer number so I'm gonna simply pass 10 just to see how it looks like and now we need to create the bitmap from this QR code encoder and we need to set that to the our image view okay so let me create the bitmap using bitmap class I'll say QR bits and using QRG generator encoder class I can create the encode as bitmap and it will throw it might throw some errors so we need to wrap that into try catch block and finally I'm going to assign this to the image view so QR image dot set bitmap and the I'm gonna pass the QR bits so this should generate the QR code based on the given data now I'm going to run this app to test the code that I have just written if it is working or not so let me do that I have my device connected here and I'm gonna run it it will op open up the my screen here and you can see our app is running now I can enter any value here I'll say one two three four five and when I click on generate it should gen it should generate the QR code for us so let's see click on generate and you can see it is generating the QR code but you may notice here it is not clear it is because we have given the dimensions as only 10 it is to do with dimensions only so we need to change this to make this more clear so I'm gonna go ahead and experiment with the number and let's see which number works let me put 100 and run the app and we'll see how the QR code resolution gonna look like okay now I'll just add some value and generate now you can see it is much more clear okay I tried with the 500s as a dimensions and you can see it is much more clear so this is how what we exactly want to do with our uh, QR generator activity so this is how we generate the QR code using the given input in the Android activity okay now I'll validate the data so just after this string data I'm gonna check if it is empty or not if data that is empty then I'm going to set the error to our QR value edit field that set error now I'll say value required and if not I'm going to execute this code that generate the QR code so this is how I'm going to validate the data okay now if you have any QR code scanner app on your phone you can go ahead and scan this QR code just to make sure that it is displaying the same value that you have given to generate the QR code it should work that's it for this part and in the next part we're gonna create our own QR code scanner and uh, we'll uh, see if this same thing the QR code we generated it's gonna recognize or not okay so we'll do that in the next video I hope to see, the, see you there don't forget to subscribe and thank you